in this video i'll be teaching you how you can trade futures or derivative trading on bybit you see that on bybit we on most of the exchanges we have it as futures trading but on bybit we have it as, as derivative trading which is pretty much the same thing and you understand the meaning of futures trading which means something that is completely different from spot trading and is a trade based on contract if you want to understand the difference between spot and futures trading there is a video there is a link to a video where i explain the differences and similarities between spot and futures trading on my channel and you can find the link to that in the description box below so do well by checking that so that you get more knowledge on how to trade futures on what futures is and what risk is attached to it so now this is where you trade futures on buy bids the first thing you want to do is that you make sure you have an available balance on futures and you can see this available balance here is 250 dollars and if you want to if let's say your available balance is is hundred is zero dollar and you have money on your spot wallet on buy bids you can just click on here transfer and you'll be able to transfer money from your spot wallet to futures you can just click on okay you can just do it like this from spot to derivative account the money you have on spot you can just transfer it to let's say 20 dollar for example click on confirm the money will be transferred to your derivative or futures account on buy you can see i had 250 there before and i had i just transferred 20 more that is 270 now so that is it now you can you have different kind of futures trading you have usdt perpetual which means you are going to be trading with usdt if you choose this one you'll be trading with usdc you understand so but because usdt is what almost everybody used to trade we'll be sticking with usdt and because that's what i have in my wallet we'll be sticking with usdt for the sake of this video so now the first thing you want to do is you, can, you analyze your market so you can analyze your market on your trading view if you want to use trading view you don't know how to use it there's a link in the description below where i explained in a video how you can use trading view like a pro trader and if you don't want to use trading view you can also analyze here and analyze your chart here on bybit but i prefer to use trading view uh, because it's it's more convenient for me so after analyzing the market then you would like to trick to, to take your trade so you just click on trade and now, let's say you want to trade btc usd if if what you want to trade is not btc USD, just click on this place and search for whatever you want to trade. So let's say you want to trade stg you just click on it you get it. so it has changed to sdg so let's say you want to analyze mana you just click on it and it has changed to mana so let's say you want to analyze xrp or let's say you want to trade an xrp you just click on it it has changed to xrp you understand so that is that about the coin you want to trade or analyze but i'll, I'll be switching back to btc for the sake of this training so now then you choose your margin mode margin mode so it's either you are trading with cross mode or isolated mode you choose the one you want to want you want to use before between the two of them cross mode means that let's say you have 200 dollars in your account okay i have 270 dollars in my account and i want to trade with 70 dollars so let's say now the trade is running against me and i'm losing money after getting liquidated out of that 70 dollar you know my trade should close on a normal day but then if you use cross margin it means your the network is now going is will now go back to the remaining balance in your wallet and put it into that trade so let me say you want to lose 70 dollars in a trade and you have lost 70 dollars already the market should stop you out of the trade but when you use cross margin the market will not stop you out it will go back to your balance if there's money in your balance it will add it to the trade and you continue losing money so there are advantages to it though for expert traders but then i advise you as a beginner trader that you always use your stop loss so you don't even get to that level so cross margin means you want the system to cross into your margin just in case you have lost all the money you put in a trade and isolated margin means if you put just 50 dollars the market is going to isolate that 50 dollars and once you lose it it is not going to look back into your wallet again you lose only that 50 dollars 
So I usually go with associated margin for most of my trade because I always use a stop loss, so I don't need cross margin. So now leverage. If you want to short, you you choose the leverage you want to use. Maybe ten x leverage, twenty x, fifteen x, thirty x, depending on what you want to use. So Bybit offers up to hundred x leverage for Bit Bitcoin. So let's just do an example with twenty x leverage short so short for long. And for short, let's let's move it to 20x too. But let's say you want to long, you just adjust the one you want to use. Because I'm just because I want to do two examples, that's why I'm I'm picking it this way. So I click on save. So that has been saved already. So now you decide after doing your analysis, do you want to long or you want to short? So in this case, let me long a trade. So I'm just I'm, I will go here and select the amount I want to use to long that trade. So you can see. So if I choose here, this is fifty three USDT. You can see it down here fifty three USDT. So let's say I want to enter the trade with just fifty USDT or forty. Okay, good. I have forty USDT now, and I want to long. So I will now open. I will now click on open long. And also, if you have take target and stop loss, you can just click on TP or SL here, this button, and you'll be able to set your target or stop loss here. So you can just set your target or take profits and your stop loss at this point. So before you enter your trade, and also you can enter your trade and set it later. So let me just open this trade, open long. You can see the trade has opened and it is currently running. So you'll be able to see your trades open trade under positions you see you'll be able to see your open trade under position you can see on this trade you have the entry price twenty six thousand nine eight one one nine eight eight point one mark price which is the current market price twenty six thousand nine eight seven position size zero point zero three liquidation price liquidation price means whenever the, the trade starts going against you there is a point that whenever the trade gets to that point You'll be stopped out and you lose all your margin. Margin is the amount of money you used to enter a trade. So that liquidation price is twenty five thousand. It, it means when the price goes back to twenty five thousand, then you lose all the money you used to enter that trade. And all the allies PNL means the the amount of money you are making or you are losing currently. And the reason why we call it unrealized is because you have not closed the trade. So once you close the trade, it will become realized. Also. You can you can get a screenshot of what you have on your tool. So let's say you have bid profit and you want to show it on your WhatsApp or Instagram. You can just click on this. You can see that it's an arrow at this right side of on un, unrealized PNL. Just click on the arrow. You will see you'll be able to see what you are doing. You can see it. Then click on save. You, you have it saved directly on your phone. So also. Now that you have opened the trade, you can also set your take profit and stop loss after opening the trade. So that's just it. You can do it that way. And you, you are what this minus 0.22 is the amount of money you are losing on the trade. So you'll be able to see the amount of money you are losing or making on a position. A position means an a current open trade. So you can see minus 0.5 percent as in percentage and in, in money 0.22 dollars. So if it is a profit, you see it to be in green. If it's a loss, it's going to be in red. You know, red is associated with danger. Danger. So you can also let's say let's open another trade from another coin. Let's say Ethereum. Ethereum. Let's say you want to long Ethereum. The first thing you do, you have selected Ethereum. You have analyzed the market. Click on margin mode. I'm using isolated margin. Click on leverage. I want to use, let's say, 10x leverage save and i'm going to input the amount i want to use that is 45 usdt i can drag it back 15 percent is 33 usdt i can drag it back okay let's say i want to use five percent of my account which is 11 usdt i'll click on open long the trade is going to open and i'll be able to see it here you can see the trade is up here ethereum trade so that is how to trade and those are long trades. So let's say I want to open a short trade, for example. Let's say I want to short STG, for example. Let's say I want to short that. Once I select the STG and analyze the market, then 
I selected margin. I select my leverage. You can see this one has up to only up to 25x leverage. And that's because BTC and Ethereum are the ones that only have the highest leverage because they have been consistent in the market and they are they have been able to prove beyond reasonable doubt that they are asset worth putting a lot of money and taking risk on. So once you select the 10x leverage, you can use any leverage that fits your trading style. I'm not telling you uh the, pur the purpose of this lesson is not to tell you what exact leverage you should use also guys if you are enjoying this video by getting value make sure you like this video click on the like button right now subscribe to my channel and put up a comment down in the comment section on what topic you would like me to talk about next if you have a topic about crypto trading about forex trading that is bothering your mind that you need some enlightenment or some knowledge on Make sure you put it in the comment section. I'm going to look into that and consider doing it. And also, if you're enjoying this video, let me know what you have learned or what you what value you have gotten in the comment section. It's going to help you help me uh get better at making content like this for you. I'm going to make you know when I make content like this, I'm also learning directly. So make sure you comment in the comment section and let me see what you have. So when you are choosing the leverage you have click on save then you go here do you want to long or short okay in this point i want to short so you put the amount you want to use let's say you want to trade with 10x 10 percent of your account which is 21 usdt and click on sell short the market is going to open and you can see the trade up here so that is how to trade futures that is how to trade futures also let's say you want to trade Features, but you don't want to enter at the current market price. You can see what I just did was enter at the current market price. You can use the limit price, and limit price means you want to enter at a point where the market has not reached yet. So maybe you are predicting that Bitcoin is going to go to 25k and you want to long it from there. You can just use the limit price, which is limit. You put that limit price. Let's say you want Bitcoin to go to 25k, for example, okay, this is STG. What's the current price for 0 0.6? So let's say you want SDG to go to 0 0.5 and from 0 0.5 you want to long it. You just input the amount. It's the same process and buy long. But that will not be a, an open position because an open position means a position that is currently running already. That is running already. It's going to be an order. So once price gets to that amount, it's going to be filled and it will move to open position. So I hope you got value from this video. Please like the video. It's very important to me. It's going to help my channel go and it's going to motivate me to make more videos. And it's also going to like push the video out to many more people that are going to benefit from it. So ensure you like this video. It's very important and I'm going to appreciate it. Also put a comment in the comment section on topics you like me to talk about. And also comment about things you've learned from this video and how the video has been able to help you improve your trade and also subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you in the next video.